not going to be Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie, and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two-minute art tip. And today's tip kind of comes along the same lines as when we talked earlier in a, in a prior video about if you have an artist that you love, you should really, really research them. Learn as much as you can about them because you'll be surprised at the connections that you will recognize between that person and their art and the art that you love and all the interesting aspects of it that you love and how those different aspects of their art are tied directly to them. So today I want to talk to you about inspiration and where it comes from. Inspiration comes from all different kinds of influences, the things that you're exposed to from the time you're very, very small up until like recently. Influences uh, can affect your creativity in all different kinds of ways. One perfect example I think that is just fascinating is that of Gustav Klimt. You probably are familiar with Klimt's work. He's a very, very famous artist and stuff like this, but I find that his, his work is absolutely beautiful. It's just so sweet and romantic and glorious and shiny. Shiny's good, you know. But Klimt is, is fascinating to me for a whole bunch of different reasons because he draws inspiration from all kinds of stuff. Um, Clift was a notorious woman appreciator. He really liked a man. He really, really liked women. He liked their bodies. He liked being with them. He liked making 14 different children with them. And they are a very, very important subject in all of his work. You will see them everywhere. He loves their bodies. He loves the way that they look and all that kind of great stuff. So that obviously was an important um, inspiration to old Gustav there. He really, really loved that. But another thing that you may not know is that Gustav Klimt's father was actually a jewelry engraver. So Klimt was exposed to beautiful objects and gold and all that kind of shiny stuff from the time that he was very, very, very young. And the important sentiments that get conveyed from engraved jewelry, you know, can't be lost on that kind of love, kind of uh, almost like ethereal feeling that comes from his work. So you can draw a really strong correlation that the use of gold leaf and the influence of the color gold in his work can be uh, tied to the fact that he was around gold and jewelry and stuff his and whole entire life, which I think is fascinating that those kinds of influences translate so directly, at least to me, into the creations that he made his entire life. So. Check into some art that um, fascinates you. Find out what the root of those things are and find out what kind of things inspire you. Where do those kind of inspirations come from? Why are they interesting to you and how do those translate into your own work? Um, kind of dig in and put a little brain sauce behind it and find out and enjoy. 